What's going on Salt Strong Nation? We're out here at Bay Flats Lodge with Captain TJ and he's showing us a Texas classic which is fishing with piggy perch. And we're gonna show you guys exactly how to do that today. Captain TJ is gonna go over rigging, how you wanna work these piggy perch because it's not just throwing out a line and letting it sit. There's actually some real strategy to fishing with this bait and it can produce some amazing fish as you guys are seeing here. We're gonna show you guys some more catch footage and teach you everything you need to know about how to effectively fish with piggy perch. All right, when selecting piggy perch, there's a couple different sizes. I like about, I like that size right there. It's about the size, about three inches, maybe four inches long. And when you hook in it, you just wanna hook it right there. It's the perfect spot for it. And so we're, we're using a five aught kale hook here. And this kale hook is a Mustad Ultra Point. And here's the package that we're using today. And it's a five, size five aught. If the piggy perch are a little bit smaller, you can use a four aught hook. But if you get any bigger than what we have here in our hand, you're gonna wanna go to a six aught. Bring them up here. You wanna throw them out. Try to keep it straight downwind so you can feel the line because we're free lining them. All you want to do is hold your rod tip straight up in the air. And every once in a while, you want to pop the rod. And when you pop the rod like that, you're only popping the tip of the rod. And when you pop the tip of the rod, it makes him start to grunt. And when he starts to grunt, it attracts the fish. But So you just want to pop him a little bit. Don't want to drag him. You don't want to like, you don't want to drag him back and forth. You just want to pop him, just the tip of the rod. And then when you feel the thump, it's gonna be a, a thump like that. You'll feel it more down in the bottom of the rod than up in the top of the tip. When you feel the pin, when you feel the tip tipping back and forth like that, that's just the piggy getting nervous. And so when you got the rod up like this and you feel a bite, you feel a little thump, you're gonna, he's gonna go, the fish is gonna pull away. So the trout's going away, the red's going away, you let him take the rod down and get the line tight and then set the hook. So you let them have time to get it, in, get it in their mouth. If you set the hook right away, as soon as they hit it, you're gonna pull it away from them every time. Oh, I just got bit. Look, watch, here it is. Oh, big old trout. Big old red. That's how it works. And that's exactly how it's done right there. So as you guys see, this can be an amazing bait. We've caught tons of really great fish with it. Big trout, big redfish. And if you use the strategies that we talked about, making sure that you're working that rod right and that you're rigging them in the right spot so that they don't die and they don't look unnatural to predators that are swimming around them, you're gonna catch a bunch of fish. So hope you guys enjoyed this tip. Definitely check out Bay Flats Lodge. This is an amazing place. We've caught some awesome fish and there's some really great people that are gonna give you guys some amazing experiences out here on the water. And if you wanna see more awesome fishing tips, definitely check us out at saltstrong.com. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know we're the number one online fishing club out there because we actually guarantee we're going to help you catch more fish with our exclusive tips and courses, our new Smart Fishing Spots app that actually shows you where fish are going to be feeding throughout the day. We're going to help you guys save a ton of money on tackle, and you're going to make a bunch of friends fast in the Insider community. So thank you so much again for watching, and we're looking forward to seeing you in the Insider community soon.